Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. We are continuing to look at the book of 1 Peter. And one of the things I love about this letter is how he continually helps us understand our identity in Jesus, that we have this powerful new identity, new purpose, new meaning in how we live and how we see ourselves and the grand picture of life and eternity. And uh, I want to read to you 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 2 through 9, because it's so powerful and helpful thinking about our identity that we have if we call Jesus our Lord and Savior. Listen to these verses. It says this, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. And then he tells us what we're to do with this. He said, Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. Keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation." And I think there's two powerful things to see from this. And the first is just the incredible identity that we have in Jesus. If we call Jesus our Lord and Savior and we've surrendered our life to him, then, then look at what he describes there. We're a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession. That This is how God sees you. These are some of the descriptors that apply to you as a follower of Jesus. And even just the reflection on the past, he says, you were once not a people, you were alienated, you were isolated, you were alone, but now we have community. He said, you once were in a place where you didn't have mercy, but because of Jesus, we've received mercy. All these incredible things. And so I just want to encourage you today that if you are hung up on your past, if you're hung up on your weaknesses, the problems that you still feel, the deficiencies that you identify in life, just step back and read these over yourself that this is how God sees you and describes you. But then there's also a challenge here for us to be sure that we're not going back to our old way of living. We're not going back to the sin that Jesus forgave and gave us mercy for. We're not going back to the old identity of sinful, rebellious uh, person, but we're living in what God has called us to now because he reminds us, he says, uh, to, he, we need to abstain from the passions of the flesh, he says, which wage war against your soul. The desires that you have in your heart for things that are not honoring to God, they're waging war against your soul. They're not just these little temptations, these little struggles. We like to use different words that soften it. He says, no, they're waging war against your soul. Don't give in to it. Don't give in to the temptations, the, the, the pull back into the things that dishonor God, but instead live in the identity that he has for you and make it your goal to honor him in every area of your life. Hope you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.